Hi guys, this is a very quick get ready with me using the brand new Lisa Eldridge. She arrived. I am so excited. I ordered the Miss palette as well as two refills uh, from the Pinkier palette because the fact that draw me towards this palette is that you can actually interchange the shades. I thought that was brilliant. So I bought some of the pink one. And then I also bought a lipstick that actually last night I was really upset when I opened it because it's nothing like I expected. It's way too dark, way different from the pictures. I don't know why pictures are out there for reference when they don't look anything like it. I thought it was gonna be like a cool pink tone uh, lipstick, not very intense, like medium intensity kind of light. And it's actually a dark brownie mauve, like it's not my thing. So this, I can't really return it because I ordered it from the UK and it's a pain in the back to kind of order it and then wanted to return it. So I'll see, maybe I'll keep it, maybe I'll exchange it with someone out there in the beauty community. We will see. I haven't even put it on because I know I'm not going to like it. Well, let's talk about the um, palette in detail. Let me get a little bit of a... a sip because it's early morning. Sip your coffee, sip your tea. And then let's talk about the palette. So this is the Myth palette, also known as the Purple palette. So this is how it comes in when you get it beautiful luscious packaging and then she comes out and it's very chic i love how this effect kind of makes it look like her velvet lipsticks which is mind-blowing to do that effect on metal love it my first impression when i opened the box was like they are tiny they are tiny I thought it was gonna be bigger. Um, they're very small. And then this is the palette. These are the shades, okay? Okay, so let's get started. Let's do a little prep on my eyes. Usually I take a little bit of concealer. Oh, wow. I have to figure out how to do this because I'm not used to it, okay. I think if you do this, you can just see it about right. Okay, so I do a little bit of concealer because my eyelids are a little reddish, so I want to cover that. There you go. I'm using the Tante Idole Longwear Concealer. And then with the Beauty Sponge, I just kind of create like a blank canvas for the... Um, eyeshadows okay that's better because it's hard to get into those crevices once the makeup is on there is always going to be like a little bit of left skin there and i don't like it so i'm trying to get it okay perfect then i use my trusty shadow insurance from Too Faced. This is to. This is basically an eyeshadow primer. Like it ensures that everything is super smooth as well as enhancing the pigmentation of the colors. Voila. Okay. Good, and now we are ready. For brush, I'm using this one from ColourPop. It's like a fluffy, medium-sized brush. Let's start by this taupey color here in the corner because I think it's not as strong as the others. Also, I'm getting to know this palette with you guys. I have no idea 
of any of these formulas on my eyes so it might be like a first impression only not like the perfect way to use this palette yet because i don't know it i'm just getting a costumes with like new friends meeting up for the first time so i just want to kind of like pack some color on the eyelid nothing too fancy i try also to kind of bring it up into the crease um it's extremely blendable It's silky, it's a nice formula. I love the color. It shows a little bit more pink than it is in the pan, which I'm very grateful for. I think I'm gonna put more. I'm not saying it's pink, it just has like a pink here undertone. Oh, here goes my heater. Hello, New York. You know, I have no way of even controlling this heater, even turning it off. I cannot, I cannot turn it down because there is no valve. It's a disgrace. It's hot, I wake up in the morning with my throat on fire what is wrong with you, New York? Why? No idea. Okay, so what are we doing next? Because I really... I don't want to pop some shimmer on top because I don't think we're ready for shimmer. Let's try um, to do the purple on the corner. I know it's kind of like a bold choice, but I'm going to do it very loosely applied with my trusty um, dirty <laughs> at the moment. Shallow Tilbury, I think it's the eye blender. Let's see. Just to start build color, I'm being extremely cautious because I don't know the outcome. So I don't wanna put too much color. You know what, for this, I think I'm gonna use my Dior flat brush to start packing some pigment on. Yes, that's better. Now it's starting to look more purpley, which I really like. Yes, I like this color a lot. Hmm, do I get put more purple on the left eye than the right? Okay gorgeous i really like it i'm gonna start bringing the first shade that we put up into the crease more because yeah i'm creating like a shadow here gorgeous okay are we popping the shimmer or not i don't know let's pop the inner corner so i'm gonna take the topper which is this one and with my eye smudger i'm gonna do it on the inner corner it's a very soft wash of color you cannot really see it very much is not super coloring thoughtful. Oh, but no, 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 you can see it. It's got some shimmer too. It's really nice. It's got a shift to it. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, that's so deceiving. Doesn't look like it in the pan at all. It's actually very well performing this one. Oh yeah. I don't know if you can tell in the camera, but it's really cute. Let's build some color and definition on the outside corner. I'm going to try to do this one very lightly because I don't know her. She might be crazy pigmented. We'll see. Well, it is pigmented, but it's not crazy. So I'm trying to do like the little V. 
on the outside corner to add texture and some depth. Oh, that's nice. It's not like a stark black, like it looks on the pan. Okay, you guys, I don't want to ruin it, but I do want to put a little bit of this just for the sake of saying we tried every single shade. And I am literally using my fingers to press it on. So that took away some of the lovely pinkiness that I liked about it. So, bummer. Hmm, I'm gonna go over it with this one and try to, you know, bring that pink back. I really liked it. I know that shade is there to kind of like create the smokiness, but personally, I thought before without it was much better. Hmm. Oh well. You know what? We can add an idea of this purple here to bring things to a more pink look. Oh yeah. That saved it for me. Good. You guys saved. Crisis averted. You know, some people might find that color really lovely and put it all over, and, but it's just, I want to see the hard work I put on, you know? I want to see the, the transitions of colors and all that stuff. I'm going to put a little bit more of that topper with my eye smudger. I'm going to bring it more. I could actually... Instead of concentrating it in the inner corner, I could actually put it a little bit more on the eyelid, shall we? I think we should. Oh yeah, finger is best because you can actually see it. Oh, that's nice. I love this pink shift that it's got. Oh, that's, that's it, that did it for me. You can hardly tell everybody what's going on, but I can. Okay, next I'm gonna use my trusty Victoria Beckham Satin Cajal in the shade um, Fig as an eyeliner. Okay, you guys, it got extremely hot, so I had to strip down one layer, and now I'm gonna go in with my Tante Idole Ultra Wear Concealer. I like to put it a little bit here and a little bit there <clears throat> and then kind of pull it out. By the way, I forgot to mention there was literally no fallout involved using the Lisa Eldridge, which I was so thrilled about. And then we blend. Voila. Blend, blend, blend. This is what I usually do, okay? Then I'll do the rest of my face. I use Flawless Filter, Hollywood Flawless Filter. I got my hands on a number three. It's a little bit dark for me, but who cares at this point? It actually works and it adds a little bit of color on my skin, so I don't mind it at all. So yeah, this is number three. I just put it here and here. I don't really do it on the forehead. I don't know if this is the right way to apply it, but it's been working for me, so I do that. And then with this part, I kind of do like that. For foundation, I don't want anything too heavy, but I want a little bit of coverage. So again, Tante Idole Ultra Wear. This is color 215 Buff. 
I think it looks light when you put it on, but because it oxidizes, it's actually okay for me. You'll see in a minute. It's gonna dry and become a little bit darker. Okay, a little bit on the forehead. Uh-huh. That's it. Nice. I swear, you guys, I didn't do... I didn't use my sunscreen for like two weeks because I was like, you know what? It's winter now. There is not really sun. And I swear to God, I have like little freckles and sun damage about here. And I was so good and religious about wearing my sunscreen and I stopped. Guys, use your sunscreen. Shout out to Brie. Contour wand in the shade Fair Medium. Dry Beauty Blender sponge and just blend, blend, blend. gorgeous love this product to add a little bit of color put some here to bring in my large forehead okay right here we go now I can do, I can set my under eye with my Prisma Libre from Givenchy and my trusty Amazon puff powder. I'll just go a little bit here. Don't need to do it too much either. We're not baking or anything, we're just, you know, mattifying where we need it. That's it, because I don't want to take away the glow either, so just a little bit. Right, and then now I can do something about the darker. Now I can do something about the inner, the lower rim of the eye. This is how I operate. I don't know if it makes sense to you. It makes sense to me. Okay, so I think I'm gonna do our first topi, topi, our first topi shade, and I'm gonna run it on the lower lash with a flat brush, also from Dior. So it kind of gives you an effect, the effect of a liner, but it's not like a soft liner, like a smudge liner. Yeah, that's really pretty. I think I can do, I'm gonna take this brush here I'm gonna take this brush here from It Cosmetics and I'm going to kind of like blend it. Yes. I think that's pretty nice. Cute. Now for the brow bone, I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna go into my Shadow Tilbury highlight. This one has this kind of like purpley tone, especially here and there. So I'm gonna use some of that purple and do it very loosely on the brow bone. Mix the purple and the white. Yeah, 
because that's what I'm missing from that palette of Lisa if I wanted to be nitpicky like that would be the perfect thing that I'm missing one for um, eyebrow bone gonna run the dark again on the inner here lovely and now it's mascara time so mascara first i'm gonna do i like actually the tester size of pillow talk push-up blush because it's a bit smaller and i feel like it's more precision work the f why do i love these kind of brushes because i love the separation i love every single lash defined elongated and separated i'm not so much for volume because it turns out to be clumpy sometimes and um so i'm kind of recreating that like audrey hepburn look so i don't know if you guys know but her makeup artist Alberto Rossi, he was applying her um, mascara and then painstakingly separating each and every lash with the use of a pin. And I know it sounds tedious and crazy and dangerous, but I do have a pin on my vanity. And sometimes, not that this one gives me any trouble, but if they do get clumpy, I do separate them. So I love this one on the bottom too. Incredible. Okay. And now to complete, because I kind of just like that was a first draft. I'm doing my Definicil from Lancome again. And this time I'm trying to get a lot of product on. So you kind of like keep combing your lashes from the roots up all the way. I'm actually gonna try and do the same Victoria Beckham in the inner corner. Oh yeah. that's just what I needed I love purples especially on my kind of color eyes this makes my eyes super green I don't know if you can tell I have like brown with some hazel going on but wow these are good okay for blush I am doing my muck this is was part of like a cherry blossom um, limited edition it's very pretty you can tell um kind of like lilac-y color it's very soft but it's very pretty yep just on the apple of the cheeks and then for the rest because we need a little bit darker Today, I'm gonna use my Shadow Tilbury Sex on Fire. You guys, if you use these, you know, they are very fragile, so do not drop it, ever. Yeah, do not drop it. This is my favorite color, it's like a mauve pink. Super pigmented, it's really strong actually, but if you blend, you're going to be fine. I think I overdid it on that side. Oh, well. Too late now. Oh, it's really pretty. I'm going to run some of my finishing powder from MAC all over the face. It's kind of give some color to your face and sets the makeup too. I'm 
I'm gonna pop some of our Charlotte Tilbury highlighter up here just ever so slightly. I don't wanna overdo it because it's very beaming, but that would be nice. Okay, and then I'm going to spray with my setting powder. I'm gonna spray with my setting spray. I'll get changed and I'll get back to you guys. All right, guys, so this is the final look using the Lisa Eldridge Myth palette. My final thoughts are, this is beautiful. It's a gorgeous palette. I don't regret buying it. I think I'm gonna do a lot of fun, different looks with this one. Um, I can't wait to kind of play with all the colors and maybe do a more glam look because this is just like a daytime soft look but if you got this palette or you are your eyes on it please let me know what you think of it in the comments below and i do hope to see you in the next video thank you so much for watching bye